I'll start with thanking, not just for the honor, but thanking you for this amazing uh, conference. I think that um, CTPD has come a long way uh, since last year. I, I looked, I, I wasn't able to attend all the meetings because it's still morning. It's um, just before 7 a.m. where I am. But um, I did manage to listen to um, all the reports, and I am overwhelmed by all the work that you've done. I will be going through the streaming through your YouTube channel, and I, I suggest that everyone does it. I'm certainly going to share this uh, with others because um, it is truly amazing. And um, you mentioned that you'd be honored to have my help. I think that you're doing um, wonderful work on your own. So thank you to the organizers and uh, for inviting me to be here. And of course, for the honor that um, you bestowed on me. I'll, I'll start with um, a little bit uh, about um, what I do. And uh, propose that you join me. Um, I suggest, and I've always done this, I've always uh, been involved in technology because I wanted to reach each and every one of my students face to face. And the only way I could do it was to use Moodle, an LMS, so that I can connect with each one of them. And there could be hundreds and sometimes thousands of students. And that was the only way I could do it. I'm fast on the keyboard, so I'm able to support um, everyone. I suggest that educators keep the old. Don't throw away um, you know, old books or um, things that were useful in the past, but uh, enhance with the new. And when I say with the new, I mean technology. I'd like to thank uh, all the wonderful educators that uh, have been part of my journey. I went to teach online and I provide free professional development to educators around the world. And I find that I'm learning along with everybody. And that's what uh, this conference is about. It's learning together, teachers teaching teachers and students learning from teachers. I'd like to um, encourage everyone to continue learning. The conference was a two-day conference, but um, there's more. And you're invited to, um, to learn together with other educators. So my purpose um, <clears throat> in this talk is to encourage you to continue learning, to teach, and I invite you to teach on my platform. Uh, it's a Moodle platform and to present in my uh, free online professional you know, development so that uh, we can continue learning together and connect the world through technology. This is um, a QR code of the presentation slides. Uh, I will add the slides to the chat so that um, you're, oh, I think I, it's the wrong one. I don't have it. I'll add it later on. Um, but right now you'll be able to uh, use the QR code if you've got your phone and you're on your desktop. You'll be able to view it. You can copy it. It's, uh, it's for you. You can download it and feel free to also share it with others. As uh, was mentioned, I'm involved in an MSc program, CE program on uh, immersive technologies, which is augmented and uh, virtual reality. I also um, work with uh, various AI tools and have developed some GPTs, AI tools of my own, actually about 15 of them. And I'll be going through some of them so that you can use them. They're all free. Everything that I do is free for educators, specifically for educators. A little overview of the presentation. I'll be going through some of the online programs, 
that uh, were also mentioned, but I'll go into more details. Uh, some digital tools that I use in these uh, online programs, writing prompts. This is another uh, QR code used, created by QR Monkey code, which is free for those interested. Um, everything that I do is on a platform, a Moodle learning management system called Integrating Technology. It's gone through various names. It used to be called Moodle for Teachers, uh, but I can't use the word Moodle anymore. So I had to change the domain and uh, everything else, but it's the same. For nine months, educators from around the globe can learn, get certificates and digital badges. Now, as you may or may not know, I'm not sure, today digital badges are uh, coded so that they're unique. Everyone that receives it uh, has a code and it's unique to them. So you can learn 24 seven, wherever you happen to be around the globe uh, with educators. And of course, uh, with and from me. And these are the programs, online courses. Um, now today, online courses um, are not a big deal anymore, but I started <laughs> these courses in 2006. Actually, I started with Moodle in 2003, but with these uh, professional development for teachers, I started in 2006 when it was a big deal and nobody really appreciated it. And some thought that, you know, I wasn't, this isn't normal, uh, but today it's accepted. And you can see that, um, as I mentioned, all the courses have free certificates and one-on-one um, -on -one support from me. And of course, from the other participants, uh, I use a synchronous uh, platform, either Zoom, MS, Teams or Google Meet directly from the Moodle course. And uh, I also use uh, Canvas and Google Classroom, but I prefer Moodle uh, for videos because the uh, participants, the teachers are very active and they create their own videos or presentations. It's based on doing. You learn as you, um, as you teach and create these videos. Uh, teachers also reflect. They use audio and video recordings. They record themselves. Um, because teachers love to teach, I offer them a chance to teach and learn as they do. They use AI tools for syllabus, resources, and activities. The online conferences, there are two uh, annual events. One is in February and one is in August. And here's more about uh, these programs. First of all, uh, the Professional Development for Teachers programs. You can see the courses. There's TESOL Online, Creating AI Generated. They're, they all involve AI tools, uh, some that I created and some that I didn't. Uh, there's Mizu, Chatbot, that participants can create for their students. And it's all free. All the tools are free. I mean, there are paid uh, versions, but I only use free tools. And um, the tools that I created are integrated technology, AI, tools for student collaboration. So as you can see on the right, the courses names and on the left are the tools, most of which I developed. And there are lots of courses. There are actually more, but I only added those that uh, our annual. You can also see that uh, mindfulness awareness practice is one of the courses. Uh, the courses are all about a month long. Uh, and I created a mindfulness awareness practice AI on ChatGPT. And there's also a web quest. And you're invited to join. And the um, conferences, the online conferences, as you can see this year, MMVC 24 was from August 2nd to the 4th. Actually, there are many participants here who have participated and keep participating in these, connecting online. If you're one of them, you can add that in the chat. I participated in connecting online or MMVC24. I'm also involved in virtual worlds. 
not just virtual reality, but also virtual worlds, second life, and other worlds. These are some ways that uh, participants introduce themselves and collaborate. I believe in collaboration and teamwork. So um, these are tools, AI generated tools like Vindaw's DID, um, Hey Jen. They all have uh, AI tools or Padlet also has it now. Uh, the others are for collaboration and reflections. And of course, I also use Novio. You can take a look at all of these since the slides uh, will be available for you. Um, all of the participants, since they're teachers, but I also do this with my students at the university, students learn by creating videos. It's really a simple way. Uh, there's no plagiarism involved because they have to use their voices and their web cameras so that they can use any of these screen recorders. Um, I prefer Canva because um, we can have longer time. Some of the um, videos that uh, participants and students create are over 20 minutes. So Canva is their best uh, bet. And these are the images. Um, students and participants also learn to generate images for their courses since uh, they also create courses. I'm referring to teachers. Teachers learn how to create their very own courses using Moodle mostly, but they can also use uh, Canvas free or Google Classroom or any other platform. But these are some of the uh, free AI image generators that they can use. And they practice it. I don't know if you've used AI, you can let me know in the chat, but um, using AI tools is quite easy. The only challenge is uh, writing the right information. In other words, what do you want the AI tool to do for you? So learning to prompt takes time and a lot of practice. So uh, you can see that uh, these are examples that you can use. You can try these out. Go to ChatGPT 4.0, uh, which is completely free, and try these out. Uh, Google Gemini is also completely free. Try them out and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just write the prompt and see what you come up with. And these are some scenes, abstract, artistic concepts. I'm just going to go through these very quickly because I don't want to take up your time. You've had two, well, a whole day yesterday and, uh, and today as well of um, listening. So this is your chance to take this with you and um, try it out. Question and answer prompts, there are various kinds. You can see emotive prompts. Emotions are super important. And um, my students and teachers uh, work a lot and express a lot of their frustration sometimes, but also joy and happiness. And I think that's important in learning and very important for teachers who are generally alone in the classroom. So having a chance to be with other teachers, uh, which is what uh, I do, I join teachers together so that they can learn from each other and realize that um, teachers around the world face the exact same issues. Uh, TWI is one of the tools that I really enjoy. These are two tools that I've added that um, you can try out. You don't have to use prompts. So there are tools where prompts are not necessary, uh, but you can use them. I use Transcriptor. It's a wonderful tool, but Magic School has the same thing for free. Transcriptor doesn't always uh, come for free. And uh, this is the future, in my opinion. This is, uh, we're going to have um, humanoids in the classroom along with the teachers. And uh, it'll be a great way for students to uh, get information, to ask questions, of course, with a humanoid right there in the classroom instead of just texting and online. So this is another idea. My final words are opportunities, challenges, and mitigation strategies. 
um, using teaching in general as an opportunity to learn, whether it's face-to-face, -face, fully online, or in blended learning hybrid formats. We learn when we teach, and our students learn. I'm not sure who learns more. I think it's a learning uh, experience for both students and teachers, and using digital uh, tools, AI and digital tools, enables us to connect with our students on a one-to-one -one basis and for them to connect with one another, collaborate and learn. Challenges? Of course there are challenges. Life is full of challenges, but I think that's what's great about living. The fact that uh, we face challenges all the time and these challenges, again, are learning opportunities. To, um, to learn. One of the uh, challenges, of course, that I've been hearing um, for many years is, is um, overload, burnout. Um, and, and that's true for everyone, not just for um, students and not only in the education sector, but everywhere. The fact that we are bombarded by information through the media, whether television, the internet, uh, you know, TikTok keeps popping up for those that are involved in um, TikTok or Instagram, and they get information all the time. And we need to learn how to turn these things into opportunities for learning and learn about ourselves, not just about uh, the information, but how we relate to it and what it does to us, of course. The strategies are to reach the users and to um, learn to cope with cognitive and emotional load in the mind. And I, I practice mindfulness. I think that uh, yoga, mindfulness, any kind of, um, I guess, meditation is a good way to help everyone. So with that in mind, these are some references that you can check out. And uh, again, the presentation uh, I will click on copy the link address and add it to the chat for everyone so that uh, can go over it. And I want to thank you for being here, for listening to me, for um, being who you are and uh, making education a number one priority in your lives. I'm grateful to you and to educators worldwide for, uh, for being who they are. Once again, passionate learners. I always say the teachers are professional learners. They know how to learn. So thank you.